Good day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this evening, it's going to be a real quick one. I've got an idea for a shot at a location that I've been meaning to photograph for a long time, but I've never really successfully got around to doing it. Tonight, I'm confident we're going to get some shots. The weather's a little bit patchy, it's a little bit cloudy, uh, but I think that could work in his favour. It's going to make some either really sort of dark, brooding, moody shots, or it will make some nice colour in the clouds if it does kick off. Uh, so either way we're on to a winner really and furthermore a little bit later on as it gets dark I'm thinking about doing a little bit of light painting I've got a headlamp and I think that's going to stand out quite nicely so the plan is we'll drive out to the freedom camping spot drop the van there and then we'll jump on the push bike pedal down to the location which is about two and a half kilometers along the cycle track then onto the beach then I'll reveal what this stunning shot is going to be this one's going to blow your mind <laughs> not so here we are my chosen location for this evening's shoot i know concrete blocks but not ordinary concrete blocks these concrete blocks look at them they're graffitied they look pretty cool now these are concrete blocks that are used in the formation of coastal groins coastal protection groins so they will break the waves hopefully stop any wave inundation on the coast basically to stop coastal erosion but I mean look 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 I mean there's a shot there surely I don't know there was one of the tags it was on this corner here like a face on there a real sort of gnarly face and it looked quite uh, it looked quite graphic unfortunately it looks like it's been painted over <sighs> plenty of taggers so that guys is what we are going to shoot this evening I mean look at that surely surely that's worth a shot these conditions, not fantastic, but I'm not bothered. We will make the best of it, I'm sure we will. The camera of choice this evening is the formidable Leica Q2. 28mm 1.7 Summilux lens, beautiful, beautiful camera. Simple, solid, does the trick. Can't speak highly enough about this camera, love it to bits. So that's what we're going to shoot it with. Now at the minute, settings wise, I'm on ISO 100, 150th at f8, and I'm underexposing by one stop, just so I can uh, save the highlights, bring up the shadows later. 50th of a second seems pretty slow, but for this camera, very easy to handle, even with my jittery, shaky old hands, seems to be working a treat. So I'm just gonna pick off a few shots, a few close-ups, few detail shots. And this side is pretty bland actually, it's not good. This was gonna be my preferred side, because of the tag that was on there originally. It looked quite stand out, but unfortunately that's gone. So uh, the better shot is gonna be from the front angle with maybe, you never know, we might get a little bit of last light creeping through that bank of cloud. We might do. I don't think we are, but you never know. As I was saying, we'd look out for some detail shots. To be fair, that's the only detail shot. The rest of the tags is just crap. This one, it's got a little bit of something about it. I think for the main shot, that's gonna be the angle there some shapes, some colours. Now that I'm really looking at this again, I'm thinking, <laughs> really? Is this what I'm going to photograph tonight? Whew. Desperate times, desperate measures. And you know what I've just seen when I've stood back and looked? Is that a G? Is that an A? That's definitely an S. That would be gas. Is that gear acquisition syndrome? <laughs> I think it could be. While I'm waiting for sunset, I thought I'd just have a walk along the beach. Now look at the state of this. This is still crap left over from Cyclone Gabrielle when she uh, paid us a visit on the 14th of February 2023, so almost a year ago. Well, it's not much of a shot, but uh, considering what I'm photographing tonight, <laughs> it's as good as anything else I'm going to get. I'm going to shoot this at 1.7 just to blur out the background crap and focus on the signage there. All right, that's enough of that. Oh, look there, Jesus wept. <laughs> just to turn me back on it, we get some very milky sunlight coming through. I don't think it's going to affect the uh, chosen subject, but we'll nip down and have a look. And a bit of sun is still there. 
but as you can see it's not having any effect whatsoever on my subject and the sun is trying to make an effort it looks a little bit more intense there is it doing much to the scene uh, hard to tell i can't see my shadow casting onto it so i don't think it's that strong but we'll get a shot anyway And because light levels are dropping, I did think on and I did bring a little Joby Gorilla Pod. That will be just ideal to keep the camera nice and steady for my long exposure shots. And that's it. That is sunset. Look at that clear sky there. It's going to be a cracker tomorrow. Not a bit of light, not a bit of colour. Oh, garbage. So uh, now we wait until it gets darker. Blow hour. We're on to blow hour again. Jesus. Third video on the trot, blow hour. Uh, but we're going to do some light painting as well. I'm not sure, to be honest, if this is going to work. The tripods, well, it's, it's not bad. I thought it was going to be quite uh, quite flimsy, but it's not too bad, actually, so uh, we might have a shot. Just bear with. I just got a phone call coming in. You get some really nice glowing dusk light, and, uh, and that's what we've got at the moment. It doesn't look that flash on the GoPro. That's a four-second exposure. quite like that. At the minute, I'm underexposing by one stop, so it looks really dark on the screen but I want to try and protect the highlight on the right hand of the shot there. I can always bring the shadows back. I've also engaged the two second self timer. This little gorilla pod isn't overly stable. So uh, anything, I, anything I can do to help stabilize the shot, that'd be grand. But uh, there is some quite nice color in there. Quite, nice, quite a nice little glow. I'll be able to enhance that once I get back to the computer. dark enough for a bit of light painting so still underexposing by a stop 15 seconds f11 iso 50 so we're going to start this going it's on a two second timer to kick off with and we're just going to have a little walk around and just give the area a bit of a general old paint i don't want to get too close because i don't want to be in the shot don't keep the light source still because that'll cause serious hot spots and I'm just hoping that I'm out of the frame here. I think that should be okay. Try that. Oh, that's not bad. That ain't bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Quite like that. Autofocus is hunting quite a bit. So I'm just gonna stick it into manual focus. And we've got a lot more control then. Oh, what the hell's going on? Okie dokie. Oh, we're up to 20 seconds now. White levels are really dropping pretty dramatically now. Keep the light moving all the time. This is a pretty cool technique this. I've not done light painting for quite a while. I normally do it on I normally do it on shots where I'm shooting the Milky Way in the background. It's not quite dark enough really yet. And I'm not gonna hang about here too late. Let's try that. And that is looking pretty cool. Loving it. Alright, we do need we do need that sky a lot darker though. There's still too much light in the sky yet. I think when I turn the camera off, yeah it did. It switched off the bloody two second timer so I just want to make sure I don't get any motion blur. Just looking up at the sky as well, we just got a little bit of a, a little bit of a glow in the sky there in the cloud. So I'm just gonna raise that camera up a little bit and maybe we can capitalize on that as well. Go! to get a little bit more light in there. All right, needs to be a bit more intense. Then again, it is underexposed by a stop, so I can always adjust my exposure in Lightroom Classic. I think this is gonna make quite a nice shot, actually. Good result. Okay. Yeah, it's looking nice. I'm liking that. I think I prefer the lower shot though, to be fair. Let's just lower that down and call it my last shot. All right, call it there. Okay, let's have a look. All right, this is gonna be the last shot of the day. We're on 30 seconds now. Let's just give that the two second timer. This is gonna give me a lot longer time to paint. Keep going for as long as the exposure lasts. That'll give us plenty of light in there. 
and this is going to stand out like the old proverbial dog's balls, methinks. Just keep it moving. Do, 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 do. That wind's getting up now. Right, are we done? Is that half a minute? I'll give it a bit extra just in case. Now I'll call it a drop. Okie dokie. So we're done. Down to the last second of noise reduction. Let's have a look. Have we got, got a good shot? Oh, well, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie at all. <laughs> that is awesome. That is freaking awesome. I love it. I love it. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, I do love it.